What if your dearest child, sibling, or relative suddenly disappears unexpectedly? This is what happened to two boys in Singapore, who suddenly disappeared from their school. The question is whether we can find these two children, or in their lifetime their parents will not be with them. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button, and don't forget to like this video, so you are always updated with life amazing stories. At Singapore's Owen Primary School, there were two friends Ketchun An and To Hong Huat, both 12 years old and in grade 6 are attending. The two friends are hardworking, because they always attend class on time. They also answer the questions that their teacher throws in class, and do not do mischief either inside or outside the school. Although, it can be said that friends are naughty and full of energy, they know when they should be naughty. And that's just every break or lunch time at school, where two kids can be seen running and chasing after their classmates. During class time, students listen patiently to their teacher. But in the field of mathematics young Chunan is struggling, so he is always late for their lesson taught by their teacher. Fortunately, his friend Hong Huat was there. Hong Huat was one of the outstanding students who demonstrated knowledge in the field of mathematics. So, all their classmates admired the child, including his fan was his own friend. Whenever their class ends, the two friends come out together. Instead of playing, friends went to the park, near their school. The park they are in, is also going to their homes, so here they rest. Hong Huat, also, helps Chunan with their homework. Because he taught it how to make the right answer to them. But as usual Chinan still seems to be struggling with their lesson. So, Hong Huat answers the assignments. Hong Huat ends his assignment and shows Chinan how to handle it. As Chinan was busy answering their assignment, a man suddenly approached with two children, smiling and asking if what the two had done. At first, Chinan was reluctant to answer, but soon he also presented his notebook if his homework was reached. The man asked if he could help the friend in their work. Hong Hua quickly refused, because he said he had an answer to those, and that was just what his friend was following. Hong Hua showed his answer to the man and the man questioned the flesh of his notebook. After the man looked at it, he said something was wrong with Hong Hua's work. The boy couldn't believe what the man was saying, because he was sure of his answer. Because of this, Hong Hua was angry, he was one of the smart kids in the field of mathematics. It is therefore impossible that he makes a mistake in what he did. He tells the man that it might be wrong to his answers. But the man just smiled, and reached his notebook. The man pointed to Hong Huat notebook in case he made a mistake. And the friend watched quietly, as the man explained the right way to answer their work. After the man took their tasks, he reached out to Chin An to copy the process of his answers. The man confronted Hong Huat and said it was only right to make a mistake because it was natural to the people. The man said, we are not perfect, learn to accept it and learn to be open-minded in possibilities. As a result, Hong Huat's annoyance subsided, and in return Hong Huat wanted to buy ice cream with the man, but he refused. Instead, the man invited the children to eat at a nearby diner. Chinan told them at the McDonald's, because it is the closest eatery from the park. The man brought the friend to the diner and there he introduced himself. He is Mr. Wenom a former teacher but also stopped teaching. Unlike Hong Huat he is also inclined to answer the question of mathematics. Mr. Wen quickly got the hearts of the two children. After eating he told the children that in case, if they were struggling again in their work, they would only go to McDonald's every noon or end of their class. McDonald's was just around Mr. Wen's house. And it's impossible they won't see the man walking around in that place. As such, the two friends agreed to help their homework to Mr. Wen in case they get in trouble with their homework again. When the two friends were going home, Mr. Wen was walking with the two children. While walking with Mr. Wen, he told the two children if they really wanted help with their tasks, no one should know about their meeting. The friend agreed, because besides being free to learn about difficult lessons, they were also free to eat whenever Mr. Wen was with them. A few days passed, and they continued their way to the diner to meet with their new teacher outside their school. Every noon they would see Mr. Wen, to help with their lesson. Besides, Mr. Wen also taught them to be a responsible young man, since they are in grade 6, that they should have gone to school by themselves. So the next day May 14, 1986, the two friends no longer delivered with their parents. Though, they went to their school, alone. After their morning class they went to the diner again to meet Mr. Wen. When they finished eating and teaching with Mr. Wen, 
they immediately returned to their class. But early on, for their next class did not started, so the two friends invited them with their classmates to play first. When Hong Huat had laid down his bag, he noticed that something was missing, he left his notebook to Mr. Wen. So, he talked to Chin An, saying he would just return his gear and he would come back soon. Chin An agreed, and he joined his players first with his classmate Pee Wee. Shortly thereafter their class was about to start again, but Hong Huat was still unable to return. Chin An is concerned about his friend's condition. And for that he begged his classmate Pee Wee to watch his bag first as he searched for Hong Huat. A few minutes later the bell rang, this being the signal that their class would start again. Pee Wee went to class and left Chin An's bag, as he thought it would come back soon. While entering the classroom, their teacher asked where the two children were, Pee Wee quickly said, that they had gone and would return immediately. But sometime later, the two friends still didn't come back, cause their teacher was worried, so it called the parents of the two. First came Chun An's parent who was full of dread over the teacher's news. The next time it came to Hong Huat's mother, after a few hours, the two friends still didn't come back. Their teacher thought it was just a joke class. So, they went around the school, but they were disappointed, because at 7 p.m. the two friends still had no clue. They brought it to the police, and eventually they began to put posters around the city, to keep the two children in check. Other people said, maybe two children were evicted by their parents, that the two children ran it. It is impossible to drive them away, because they have no problem at home. And secondly, the child's relationship with their families is harmonious. Here the other classmates spoke to two children, here they told, that almost every day the two children were at McDonald's, to teach one of their friends. Police asked, if the children remembered the name of this stranger, the boy said, we remember what they said, his name was Mr. Wenom. Police quickly checked the database and searched for the name Mr. Wenom, but they failed. Because no matter where they were looking, the police suspected that his name was just invented by this man. He nevertheless embodies his true character. McDonald's Singapore found out that the two children were in the McDonald's branch almost daily. So, they thought about helping the relative by donating the 100,000 Singaporean dollar for reward money, if who can tell where the two children. The two children across Singapore have been news. So, because of this incident, the two friends were called, McDonald's boys. A few days later, only prank calls have been received by the parents and the police. Posters of two children are now scattered throughout Singapore. The parents gave a variety of rewards, but unfortunately, no one could even teach where the two children were. A few months later, the friend was still not found. The family tried to find it at neighboring countries, near Singapore. Hong Huat's mother reached as far as Kuala Lumpur. It also sought help from local newspapers in Kuala Lumpur, but she failed to find her son. Despite this, the night of September 3, 1986, Chen An's father received the call, on the call that the father heard the child's cry. Reason, to put it bluntly with the fear and dread that caused it to stroke. In addition, Hong Huat's mother also received the call, a man allegedly calling her and saying her son would never return. A few years later, the two children have never been found again. Even the man who called the parents, was not hit by the fares either. These events teach us a lesson that we should not trust other people right away. There is an opportunity in our lives that others will use good as a weapon of evil, so we must be critical all the time. We should also educate our children, who should talk to and who should avoid such opportunities. Because of this present day, many bad people roaming around. Thank you for watching.